So right now I'm on the way to the uh, bazaar right across the street from the hotel, Hotel Crystal Palace. And it doesn't help being tall. Whatever brand names you want, <laughs> it's here. <laughs> if you want Gucci, if you want Louis Vuitton. Oh, look at this Chanel. Oh my goodness, so stylish. This is so good that you actually can walk freely with a camera, unlike Algeria. Um, sorry, Algerians, but um, it was very difficult to use my camera while I was in Algeria. Uh, almost 90% of the people will tell you, don't film me, don't film here. Uh, you're not allowed to take pictures, you're not allowed to make videos. Thank What's that? So What's tabak, that? Tabak. Kabak? Yeah. Oh, tobacco. Ah. What do you do, like inside? Bagazik. Bagazik. What's it called? What's the name? Name? Nasvai. Nasvai. The name is Nasvai. Nasvai. Thank you. This is like a must have in every home. This right here. You have to have it. What's up? How are you? Good. Salam alaikum. Pistashka. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So generous, thank you. Baka. Thank you, Baka. They are so generous. They want you to film them. That is. Hey, what's going on? Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum as salam. Salam alaikum. I can't believe that, you know, like other countries hate being on cameras. Like, well, I came from Algeria, so I'm like a little bit hesitant on using the camera pointing it at people. But here, they actually invite you to point the camera at them. Um, and oh, the pickles. So the pickles and the way it looks has a, a story here. Initially, it was only the people that sell the pickles were the Koreans, uh, because it has a big Korean community in here. But then the Uzbeks, oh, that's my favorite. That is my favorite. This is what I was looking for. So I'm gonna buy some of this. I love figs. You guys have no idea how much I love figs. Unbelievable. But back to the pickles. Initially, it was just sold by the Koreans. And then the Uzbek took over. Um, because the Uzbek initially just wanted to uh, grow food, fruits, vegetables, um, and they didn't want to deal with this. But later on, you know, they started to be explore. They started to explore this as a way of making money. How are you? And um, yeah, so the pickles now is mostly Uzbek who sells that. But originally and initially, it was sold by the Koreans. You speak English, hello. <laughs> This is the one of the transporters that, that transports whatever you buy and it takes them all the way to the end of the, um, the bazaar. Uh, right, when you take a ride, like a taxi or whatever. What's your name? Your name? Palwan. Palwan. Marwan. My nice name is Palwan. Palwan. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Bob. You speak good English. English. That's very good. That's, all, that's amazing. Not a lot of people actually speak English here. You know? And what's your name? Ibik. 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 Nice to meet you, Ibik. So now, I bought myself this amazing looking pigs. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna try one. Yeah. Wow, it's delicious. Anjer. 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 It's called Anjer. Mm. So good. It's like you're eating honey. Wow. That is so good. A lot of the women here have the the golden teeth. Hello. So you will notice something in this area of um, Uzbekistan. You would notice that uh, there are a lot of um, Chinese ethnic groups here that were uh, originally came from China. Um, and um, yeah, they, I think they're called the Urgus or Urgis. Uh, they were initially kicked out of China and they were 
placed here in this area um, and you know I think they this area of Uzbekistan is, is considered its own republic within uh, Uzbekistan there's a car that actually look exactly like this bread that's why they call it Bukhanka and it looks exactly like that this is the uh, Soviet Union army bread um, they still eat it and they still make it what is this Bukhanka? <laughs> Bukhanka, right? <laughs> good, I'm doing good. How are you? You speak English? Huh? Achida? YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> You're shy, she's very shy. Assalamu alaikum. Nice. I'm gonna show you guys this fish. Assalamu alaikum. I don't know how they eat it, but it's, it's so good, right? Good. Very good. I really want to know how they eat this. Nice. Wow. Oh, this is the way they stand their bread right here. They stamp their bread, after they make the bread, they stamp it with this. This is the tandoori bread, where they put the bread on top and then they stick it to the tandoori uh, oven. And this is the sizes of the bread. So if you want a bigger size, that's all the way in the bottom. <clears throat> and a smaller size all the way on top. This is a baby crib, and she's a little baby sleeping on it. Baby toys made out of wood. Alaikum as salam Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Shy. Oh, potato, kartoshka. Kartoshka. Kartoshka, ah. What you mean? Oh, chak. <laughs> and then. Miyasa. Miyasa. Luk. Miyasa, luk, kartoshka. <laughs> and then what happens after that? <laughs> Abid. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, Salam alaikum. Hello. 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 set. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Oh, now they cover it. Yay! Good job! <laughs> highly, highly recommended to come here. They're so welcoming. They want you to come here. They want you to film. They want you to talk to them. Even though they don't speak English, but somehow we communicate. And that's good enough. And this is the back of the hotel where I'm staying in. And if you come here, you'll see this monument which is a monument for uh, Zoroasterism, which is an ancient, ancient religion. Uh, a lot of their monuments are actually located here in uh, Khorazm. Uh, this is a religion where um, people from Afghanistan, uh, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, uh, Turkmenistan, they used to believe in that religion. A righteous thought, a righteous word, a righteous deed.